Hey everybody, it's Jake Mace with jakemace.com. When it comes to fighting, Tai Chi is one of the most advanced martial arts you can practice and people who are beginners to Tai Chi or who do not study Tai Chi think that Tai Chi is just for old people as a method of moving meditation. But in reality, Tai Chi Chuan or Tai Chi Chen means the grand ultimate fist and it's China's highest state of fighting and self-defense. It is also an art of meditation and health and fitness. There are various techniques we've been practicing with my students lately that are secret fighting applications from the various Tai Chi forms that we practice for the fight and I want to share one of them with you in this video. We come up into reel the silk, move our body and stance into single whip. Good solid stance. Work those legs if you're able to physically. Then come down snake creeping down the vine. From there drop the hands coming up. Step forward and touch the seven stars. Good stance, the punch comes in, block high, snatch down, step behind, underneath the neck, jaw or nose, cross face style and down. This is step forward and touch the seven stars. So right now, get in the stance, that's a classic Tai Chi natural stance. Relax the shoulders, make the body in a strong athletic position so the chest is open. Both feet are firmly planted on the ground. The breath is full. See how my chest moves? Watch it. Now do it with the Dantian, the lower stomach. No chest movement. The ancients of Tai Chi will tell you to breathe with the Dantian. I say be able to breathe with any part of the body, including the Dantian. And from that position, we always get warmed up with rising and sinking. So right now, push pause on this video and do this about 10 or 20 times. As you exhale, sink and root your feet to the ground because the power that we generate into our attacker is going to come from the earth. When we inhale, we rise. Sink. Rise. Sink. And the movement we're going to practice for this video today starts from reeling the silk, moving into single whip, and from there the snake creeps down the vine. We come down with the thumb. Then the back of the hand brushes past the left leg into our poo stance. From here, transition the weight forward, come up with the arms crossing and the leg lifting, and then down into a comfortable position with the right foot barely tapping and the hands in front. Okay, once again for practice, we come up into reel the silk, move our body and stance into single whip. Good solid stance. Work those legs if you're able to physically. Then come down, snake creeping down the vine. From there, drop the hands coming up, step forward and touch the seven stars. Against our attacker, it should look like this. What I like to do in my Tai Chi fighting classes is have the opponent train their attack. So in this technique, we're going to be defending against a straight right. And so I'll have him throw about 10 straight rights and I'm accepting that punch in a strong stance. Getting used to what it looks like to have a punch thrown at my face and getting very comfortable and relaxed with that hurtful object coming at me. Plus he's getting some practice with his jab or his straight right in this case. He's working those first two knuckles into my target and I'm getting some hand strength as well. Then when he's ready, he throws that straight right at me. I'm in my strong stance. You have to remember that Tai Chi is always in these amazing stances. Those are the stances we should use for the fight, getting ready for anything. The wrestler, the kicker, or the puncher. It's be versatile. In today's martial arts, people sample different styles. The Kung Fu and Tai Chi master has to be ready to accept and defend against all styles of martial arts. When that punch comes at my face, immediately block it up this way. And you may say, first off, Jake, in a real fight, you won't be able to time that correctly. Hogwash, of course you can, with lots of practice. I even recently watched a video with Boss Rutin. He was talking about he doesn't like the hands up to block this way because his power can knock you out through that hand. He would put his back against the wall and block with those open palms. He loves forearms and open palms for blocking. 
the videos on Boss Rutan's YouTube channel. I'll put a link to it right here. You guys can click on and watch. So I like that kind of methodology and that kind of mindset. When the punch comes in, block it up. From there, take the right hand, this one here. Come over the top of the arm and snatch it down and pull him towards you immediately while he's down that way. My hand comes back up again under the nose or the neck or the jaw. Step behind and throw him back onto the ground. And so Tai Chi works off principles of yin and yang and this move is representative of that. Yin and yang, high and low, male and female, light and dark, winter and summer, dry and wet. These are the yin and yang principles Tai Chi is trying to tell you not only for health and fitness and meditation, but also for the fight. Again, the punch comes in. Block it high, snatch it with the right hand, bring it down. It's okay they don't fall. You're just leading them toward yin to then step through them with yang and take them down to the floor. Legs, movement, energy is all very important. The wrestler who stands like this or the MMA fighter who has a non-athletic stance and goes backward, gets knocked out. The person with a nice rooted stance with good control of their energy usually is the better fighter, especially against a street tough who has no martial arts experience or background. So one more time, then we'll show you full speed and in slow-mo at the end of this video. Good stance, the punch comes in, block high, snatch down, step behind, underneath the neck, jaw or nose, Cross face style and down. This is step forward and touch the seven stars. <laughs> 